most of us if we have any gift at all it is the gift of hindsight very few of us have the gift of foresight you know steve jobs the founder of apple he said we cannot connect our dots by looking forward we can only connect the dots by looking backwards and then from these dots that you read backwards you just obey the gut feeling you have and hopefully your future will connect with the dots of your past i disagree for us christians not only we have hindsight but we have foresight simply because god has sent us prophets and most of all as in today's gospel he has sent us jesus we are given both foresight and hindsight in the prophets and in jesus because the prophets and jesus revealed to us about our future precisely in today's first reading we have jonah he was a man of foresight he read the situation of the people of nineveh they were living a sinful life and so he predicted destruction to the city the people themselves did not have foresight they could not connect the thoughts of their past life of their wicked ways but they were like steve jobs they were able to listen to the gut feeling and their gut feeling was that jonah spoke the right thing although they did not know jonah they did not even believe in the god of jonah but when jonah prophesied about the future destruction of the city they worked out and we are told they all repented from the king to the last citizen so this is what we mean when we speak about foresight and hindsight and the truth is this this is a fact of life what we sow is what we reap in the letter of st paul to galatians in chapter 5 st paul said do not be deceived because what we sow will be what we reap even moses told the israelites in exodus 20 verse 5 god said he will punish the children for the iniquity of their parents to the third and fourth generation whatever we do today whatever decisions we make now will have implications for good or for bad not just for ourselves but for our children's children and we have to pay attention to this this is why the world is in a disastrous state truly if you look at the world today the world does not have hindsight nor foresight if you look at the history of the world we are just repeating the same problems we have never learned from the lessons of the past that is why it is said history repeats itself all the time if you look at the world situation the world now is promoting same sex union surrogate motherhood euthanasia abortion they do not know and they cannot see that these are the issues these are the values promoted by the world that are destroying family life destroying the holistic upbringing of our children destroying marriages and destroying society today the world is promoting technology as if technology can save the world technology without morality will destroy the world but there can be no morality unless you believe in god 
there can be no absolute if you don't believe in God. That is why everything is relativistic. So, you know, at the end of the day, the world will be destroyed because of the selfishness of men. And if we are not careful, we will suffer the same fate of the Ninevites if we do not repent. But then the real problem for us is we are suffering from pride ignorance. We think we know best. We don't feel we need God. We think we have all the answers in life. This is the arrogance and the pride of the world. This was the same issues that Jesus faced in his own generation. They were asking for signs, and Jesus had performed many signs already. It is not because they didn't have the signs. They were simply rebellious, too proud to accept that Jesus was the Messiah. And because of that, they rejected him. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, today in the Gospel, we have the Queen of the South, Queen Shiba. She was wise enough, humble enough. She travelled all the way to see King Solomon in order to learn from him. She was teachable. And same for the people of Nineveh. They were willing to listen to Jonah. And Jesus is saying, but someone greater than Solomon here. Jesus is the wisdom of God. Someone greater than Jonah. He is the ultimate prophet. But we are not listening. So that is why today we need to pray for humility, especially of world leaders, because they are making decisions not just for today. Unfortunately, world leaders, they want to make decisions just for today. But have they ever thought the decisions they make for today have serious implication down the road, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years time? You just look at the deep population crisis in the world. We thought the only way to protect humanity was have a two-child family. Now look at the world. We are depopulated. And so, leaders tend to be pragmatic, making decisions in order to answer to the popular needs and demands of our people. But have we a thought for the future generations to come? Have we thought through, in other words, can we see the doors of the past and then connect the dots to the future. For this, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to ask for wisdom. We need to ask for humility. May the Lord Jesus be our wisdom. May the Lord Jesus, who is the word of God, teach us what is truth. Amen.